Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about the engine freeze that is coming in in 2025. Now the FIM's Grand Prix Commission is set to approve a freeze to engine development in MotoGP until the new regulations come into force in 2027. I have learned that the GPC aims to ratify the change at the next meeting provisionally scheduled to happen in the run-up to Misano. However, the two Japanese manufacturers, Honda and Yamaha, which currently benefit from concession rules, will be exempt from this engine freeze, provided they do not achieve stronger results that may lead to a change in their concession rules. In 2027, the engines will change from 1000cc and be replaced by the smaller 850cc version. Teams are currently obliged to homologate their engines before the first round of the calendar. The stewards of the teams, Association Ayrta, are in charge of the process of sealing the power units and the checks that are carried out on those engines throughout the year. Once a green light is given, the power units will then be homologated. At the latest and in the run-up to the season opening race that happens to be the Thai Grand Prix on the 2nd of March next season. These components cannot be modified until after the last race. The specification certified at the Thai Grand Prix in 2025 will have to be the same as the ones used until the end of 2026 season. Now there are a few exceptions to engine freezes that will allow modifications. For example, if it can be demonstrated that the intention behind breaking the seal is for safety reasons, then this can be done. Now, if you ask me, you know, this really does benefit the Japanese teams in the way that they can continue to develop their engine. And, you know, like what I said with the Yamaha V4 option, realistically, this is giving them uh, free reign to develop that V4 and get an understanding in time for the 2027 regulations. So, you know, you can understand now why Ducati at the Mizano test were really, really focusing on the engine and getting the engine right, because what is going to happen from the start of the season or the first race of the season next year is going to be the engine that they use until the end of 2026. I get it and I understand it. They don't need or want to have two engine programs running at the one time. Saying that, you know, Honda and Yamaha, especially Yamaha, have clearly been doing that at this stage. We know the V4 is is in a, an advanced stage, but they still are tweaking that in line four. But again, I suppose for all manufacturers, it is a way of reducing that cost. Um, but, you know, it is thinking a small bit that Honda and Yamaha um, are allowed free engine development during that time. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the engine freeze coming in? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.